Bisagi allows the creation of multiple diagrams. To start diagramming, change the name of the pool, double click on the pool and enter the desired text. The palette contains different shapes to facilitate the process diagram. The shapes comply with the BPMN notation. Tasks are rounded rectangles and represent work performed by an organization. A task can be atomic or non-atomic. Events are circles with open centers. They represent something that happens during the course of a process. These events affect the flow of the process and usually have a cause or a result. There are three different types of events based on when they affect the flow. Start, intermediate and end. Gateways are diamonds. These elements are used to control the divergence and convergence of the sequence flow. This is a travel request process where an employee requests a flight ticket and hotel reservation. The boss approves it. The administrative department handles bookings and the employee registers all expenses. Drag the desired element and drop it onto the point of the diagram where you wish to locate it. Use the pie menu to easily diagram the flow sequence. Select the desired object and move it to the point on the flowchart where you wish to locate it. If two objects are not connected through a sequence flow, select an object from the pie menu and drag it to the other object. The two objects will then be connected. To change the size of your pool, Drag the pool's corner until you reach the desired size. To edit the description of any element, double click on the element and enter the desired text. An exclusive gateway represents a flow point where there are two or more alternative paths, but only one of them is valid. Here, the boss will approve or reject the travel request. To select the type of event, task or gateway to be used, right click on the element and select the shape type. An inclusive gateway is a point on the path where several paths can be activated. The employee may need a flight and a hotel. An inclusive gateway, as a convergence element, represents a point in the process where previously activated paths should converge. The modeler allows you to change objects within the same category. Right click on the element, select the transform option and then the required object. A subprocess is a non-atomic task that is included within a process. It is compound because it contains its own set of tasks in a logical sequence. Right click on the subprocess shape and select the edit option of the subprocess. It will automatically open a new diagram page to include the subprocess information. On this page, you can diagram or modify the associated subprocess. Parallel gateways indicate the points in the process where tasks can be executed in parallel. A parallel gateway, as a convergence point, is used to synchronize parallel paths. In this process, approving the report and reviewing policies can be executed in parallel. To align objects, select the objects and move to the Format tab. Select the option Align Horizontal or Vertical according to your case. An intermediate event represents something that happens somewhere between the start and end of a process. It will affect the flow of the process but will not start or terminate it. An intermediate event can be used to handle exceptions. This can be done by including an intermediate event on the boundary of a task. Right click on the task or subprocess and under the attach event option select the desired event type. A timer intermediate event represents a waiting time within the process. In this case, if the expenses are not registered, the boss will perform a follow-up. After analyzing the diagram, you may need to modify the type of object used. To do this, right-click on the object and select the type of object required. A service task is a task performed by the system without human intervention. In this case, the approved expenses will be sent to the company's payroll system. You can navigate between diagrams by selecting the Diagram tab at the foot of the modeler. The different sequence flows are defined within the standards such as conditional or default flow. 
In the expense follow-up, the boss might need to request a change or some action by the employee. Then, two sequence flows will be included through the Advanced tab. One default flow where no changes are necessary and the other will have a condition defining the action required by the boss. Right click on the gateway and select properties. You can define the conditions for the sequence flow under the advanced tab. You can set a condition or a default sequence flow. There are some attributes for each figure within the BPMN standard. These attributes are used for the implementation of the process. Right click on the figure and select the properties option to enter the attributes. Some BPMN properties can be found in the basic and advanced property tabs. For example, the timer will give the employee three days to enter the expenses before the boss takes action. Another example of these attributes is the definition of multiple instances for a sub-process. In the Advanced tab of the Subprocess properties, you can define the condition for multiple instances, which includes the way in which they are going to be performed, sequential or in parallel. If you like the Bisagi Process Modeler, register in our community. Only registered users receive online support, expert advice and updated documentation. Join thousands of BPMN experts from more than 150 countries who are already enjoying these benefits. You can register at any time. Just fill out the form. Thank you for your interest in Bizagi, the solution preferred by BPM experts.